Hi, this is Tim. Today's question comes from Trent, who asks, where is the reset instruction for the counter in Connected Components Workbench? In this video, we're going to be using one of our PLC trainers. I'll put a link to them down in the description. And we're going to start with a new program. And under controllers, we're going to be looking at a Micro 820 controller. And we're using a 2080 LC2020 20 QBB. I'm going to select it and add to project. And then I'm going to right click main task and I'm going to add a new ladder diagram. Also note that I am in the logics theme and version 13 did change that a little bit. So let me switch over to the default theme. And here we normally would be right clicking programs, add new ladder diagram. But now the logics theme looks a little bit different. I'm really liking what they're doing here. But yeah, we're going to right click main task, add ladder diagram. And we'll open up that program. Whoop. And I almost forgot, we do need to change our Ethernet settings because when you create a new program, it's going to default to DHCP. We configure my IP address for 192.168.1. And if you're using our trainer, then it's going to be 10 with a subnet of 255.255.255.0. Now let's go over to our program and bring down a direct contact examine if closed. And we are going to look at our green button. And our green button is wired to input number four. And then we're going to bring down an instruction block and just type CTU. And for our preset, we're going to just put a value of 10. And then we're going to bring down another rung and we're going to use the blue button to reset. And the blue button is input 7 on our getting started guide. So blue button. Then typically, if we were in Studio 5000, we would use a reset instruction to reset our counter. But if you notice in Connected Components Workbench, the reset is actually integrated into the CTU. So there's a couple options here. First, you could simply take this blue button and you could paste it right here. Now, I won't say this option's good or bad, but mainly if we're trying to replicate a Studio 5000 program, it could be much more complicated than simply hitting the blue button. So I want to do it and leave it roughly the same structure. And I can do that easily using an output energize instruction. So I'm going to bring it down here. And we're just going to create a variable and we're going to call this our counter reset. And we'll select that one. And then right here we can put that same counter reset value. And now we're going to download this program. And now I'm going to press the green button. We're going to get a count of one. We'll press it a few more times. We have a count now of six. And now I'm going to press the blue button and that's going to reset our counter back to zero. So I hope this video has been helpful, Trip. You know what helps us? You hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Did you know we put out at least one automation video a week? Till next time. Hey, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.